so they get, they are going to do Mellor's bat. Yep, they put them mid Mars. Okay, so they they're trying to apply pressure to Timbersaw. But, bat rider but, used to be the counter to Timbersaw. Nowadays, I think it's not as hard counter. It's more like a fifty fifty. But are you aggro trilaning into the Juggernaut Witch Doctor lane? Because otherwise, you're putting a bat against the Jug. Yeah, I would. I, yeah, um, I think they're trilaning into yeah, trilane, right? Yeah, I think they're going to go for a, an absolute brawl. They're going to allow Melez and DM just to you know do the one v one. And they'll see how it goes, so... Okay. Sure. I, uh, I, I, I like the fact that Puck Champ, they, they are just trying to be a bit more, you know, creative on the take. They're not just going to accept, let's play dual lanes. Yeah. It could be atrocious. They could lose the tri lane because of in the Malediction and just the remaining. annoyance that VP has. But if it goes their way, you get this quick BKB. Yeah, five yeah. seconds ah. remaining. It's a risk. I, I, oh. If the bat works, it works because they have no cleanse for it. So this is a great game. And yes, the jug into lane against bat, if that's the matchup they get, that can be tough to deal with. But... You know, you get the spin, you lasso it. Like, you have so much raw damage output with the Mars Wraith King that, you know, everybody will die in the span of a lasso. There's no save, just some light counter initiation. I just like the fact that you, you said about how good of a bad game it is. Sure, Bat's not so hot right now, but there have been times in previous series where this bot speaker B in season one yep. surprises you that you have no way to rebuttal it. You can't do anything. This you is just, the exact oh, game. Lasso's yeah. up, that's a kill. So that's what we're going to need to see out of Mel. Let's be the world for sure. And, and in all cases, though, it's a forgotten meta for the most part. But tri lane versus tri lane, that's where the game will be decided if one team if it can is, pull over. It could, surprise, it could just be 2 1 2, and everything we said was worthless. But I, I hope, I hope it's Timber a tri lane. What yeah. you want I hope it's a tri lane, and I hope it's Bat v Timber. That would be yeah. very exciting from Pop Champ to kind of bring yeah. that to this type of game. Well, I think what everyone hopes for is that it's a exciting and close game. Can Puck Champ bring that against the real champs in Virtus Pro? Go now to Odie Pixel and Fog. Thank you very much, Chap. Yes, a real test indeed here for, for Puck Champ. You know, this is uh, it's going to be a challenge for them. Uh, the team coming up from the lower division and now having a, to face up against VP. Uh, what do you think the chances are here, Fog? And, and do you like this? In the hero that a lot of teams have straight <laughs> enough. Right, it's definitely intriguing, and if if you're really comfortable going for it, the hero can still have its Prepare usages, but just battle. it's not a farmer anymore. I think that's the first thing that people need to recognize when you are trying to play this hero. You cannot be like, I'm gonna go farm ancients, I'm gonna go farm anything. You have to just play aggressive. And if they can get this lane set up, they get the bat rider versus the timber. It used to be incredibly strong you just end up like taking over it uh, the matchup like at like level three or four you kind of just force the timber out of lane so we'll see Melis. he is that master tier bat rider so has to be very comfortable with this matchup and we'll see i think this is a very nice aggressive draft kind of coming out from both sides vp always goes for safe lanes they're always really really safe about how they do set them up never really picking just a losing lane straight up they're always going to be able to fight back so we're going to get lots of fights, Owen. Sure. So, so in that sense, you, you, do you think VP won't let it be sort of like a Timber versus Bat setup? You, you, they'll change something, whether it be having support oh, back up for the Timber or just not having that matchup at all? This pleases I think they'll, they'll probably way. change things. I think they may even just like put the Lion behind the Timber because yeah. that completely changes the whole matchup. If Timber starts to get away with a couple levels, then it starts to be able to like a plus Each one and Timber's damage is actually pretty significant versus Bat Rider. Do... You have to remember, you are quite high strength game, so it does, you know, it's, it's still painful, you know. Sure, it's not your main attribute, but it still is going to be painful whenever you get hit from these spells. From the battle it. begins! Death in particular. Mm, see, yeah, VP setting up there, see if they can find something, but Puck Champ not going to walk into the trap that VP tried to set. And we'll see. And uh, it's going to be the try lane. Okay. Uh, so, so when it comes to that, is. I mean, yeah, I mean, did Mela stay down here or they'll have to, to switch it up or will he just sort of sack the, the tough lane? Where I can. Ooh, I, he might I mean, just have to sack it, but then yeah. you're picking Batrider in a place where he's not going to be dominating lane and that's oh, where the sure. hero overall has shown his weaknesses and that's why he's like not really picked so much. So these early aggressive words I think is really crucial for VP. They get the setup they want, the Jug versus Bat with Witch Doctor, and they bring the Lion top the air. He saved his TP too. He timber chained across the map to get up, so he'll have a TP if you'd like to move in case they do. And he'll just have to accept with the fact that he's going to have a bit of a tough start on the timber. Sure, but well, with that in mind, that Melez against a, a, a Jog Witch mm -hmm. Doctor is going to have an infinitely worse time. Yeah, as soon as those boots come out, I think we're going to see Nightfall. That one is just going to rush those up immediately so that those boots on the bat will be counteracted. And they're just going to chase him out. They're not going to really let him play on the wave. They're going to power deny. I mean, what so did he do? A problem. Was it, did, he to, did he just go pull the small camp? I mean, he can't, right? It was blocks as well, right? 
Yeah, they've got that figured out, VP. So, it's, I mean, we'll see. As you said, you know, Master Tearback, maybe he is going to be able to show us how this hero can work, even if you do have a bad start. Even though, as you say, hard the, the recovery methods of this hero have just been shut down completely with the nerfs. Yes, they have been. He gets boots and he just he instantly brings out Windlace with his first set of gold. So yeah. he's just trying to get that movement speed so he can counteract the Jugs boots that are coming out. Might end up working for him. Might actually get a little bit down here, but we do see DM. He's also starting to get some stuff top, even though the pull is blocked. The lane just it pushed in. They just made a couple extra like last hit mistakes that caused it to go into his favor. And this top lane with the tri lane, they have Puck Champ. Is, is there much kill potential against these two heroes, or are VP able to deal with the, the, the this aggression? You know, this sort of the, the, the kill hungry tri lane that the Puck Champ do have. They should be able to get kills on DM, but it's going to be, you know, if Save isn't in position to get the stun, because he's got a good way to be able to bail him out. If he just connects like a single stun, he's going to be able to timber chain out on DM. So they should be protected as long as Save doesn't get out of position. Their mid lane. So pretty good for Desperate. With Boranya, right? I'm not mistaken. No, Boranya's a different team, right? Maybe I am confused. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's. I thought I clicked on his profile and renamed for some No, reason, no, but... this is Desperate. Okay. Desperate's Desperate, as far as I'm aware. No, yeah. A lot of sort of names that people just won't be familiar with, you know. I think so. Sort of their first real showing a lot of these players was that, that lower division last season. So really getting to see oh, if they can prove oh, themselves shit. here. Well, he's doing really well mid. He's actually doing excellent versus that Void Spirit at the moment, dominating the matchup. Yeah, yeah, well, because what, what did you see? Was it, because, I mean, a lot of players do like to name themselves other players when they're playing pubs. I thought, or, he, I, I, I thought he played with them. But maybe, I, I, maybe I'm just totally confused right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Branya, yeah, we'll, we'll check afterwards, but now Branya's on another squad. I'm like 99% sure. I thought sure, he played yeah. the Beastmaster for them one of the games that they did. Play. I, mean, I might be totally confusing myself. Either way, <laughs> he's having an excellent time in the mid lane. Wraith King also with this tri lane. He's having yeah. a good start. Same thing for the jump, so kind of similar on both sides at the moment. Timber just getting a little more than the bat. And Timber overall, he won't have ways to bail himself out. I'm, I'm really wondering how this bat is going to end up. Sure, it's, yeah, 5 CS at 3 minutes in. I mean, it's, as you said, this is what's going to happen when he's against the lane that he's against. But... Puck Champ, they, they didn't try and change up the lanes. They, they accepted it when it got handed to them. So they, they have decided to work with this. And uh, yeah, Malez is going to have to show us some, some sort of magic. Uh, and and if, you know, if he can make the hero work in this situation, then, you know, teams, they've got to respect the, the Melez bat if he can make something happen after being set up for a very rough start. He's just going to start doing some jungling, so okay. he'll be able to at least... going to be a little bit slow, but he does have at least six stacks up on it, so he'll get something at the very least. He'll have to use his whole mana pool to kill this camp. But mid is... They're even tipping desperate. Like, they know how well his lane is going. He actually pushed GPK out almost of the entire lane. He has pretty much every single one of them. CS. I actually don't think he's missed much of, much of anything. Oh, look at him go! Not for sure, yeah. yeah. I thought I don't think he has. I think 36 would be perfect, right? So he's only missed one creep so far on the Mars. See if, I mean, have they got any sort of potential to make a move on GPK when Desperate hits the six? I guess it's hard, right? Forward Spirit's always it's gonna be able to jump out. They don't have an, an instant catch really on the lineup. A lot of very telegraph spells that GPK will be able to avoid. It will be hard for them to catch GPK yeah. throughout most stages until they do have, like, if he does go for duels on Desperate, which is probably gonna be the case this game, or highly a chance that he does since he's versus both the Timber and the Void Spirit. He can set up some nice quick spears. DM though is getting the buff. So he's hit level four, feeling very strong now with level two reactive, but this also he's got backup. He does, he's got a lot of backup. Ooh. Kingslayer coming over as well. I'll get the cask down onto the Wraith King. Crit's in trouble. He's gonna pop pretty low here to the Maledictix. In fact, he's dead. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to keep himself alive. As that is gonna be first blood taking down Crit. Also taking down Astral DM. A tower hits are coming in, but he's got the south ready to go. And he's able to walk away alive as VP take down the two. Smart move, just making sure that they've got King Slayer in position and ready to fight back against Puck Champ's tri -Lay. Great move by him. Like, he actually walks up there, saves his TP, gets that kill set up. TP's bottom. Now he's with the jug in case the Batrider does start to lane again. And this is the problem about that. You know, that Batrider. Oh, man, GPK? 
there. They're gonna have to snowball, but Desperate is very low. We'll pop the fairy fire. And now they're actually looking to turn. They've trapped GPK in the arena. GPK got any measure to jump out. Fact, he's gonna try and get back in onto Desperate, but further back up comes in. They bring down GPK and keep Desperate alive. Oh, and now save. Play from Astral. Radiant's bottom tower is under Damage for attack. this won't, won't be quite enough, even with the urn. So save will Dyer's manage to walk away. But yeah, what, a, what a snowball save. I mean, what it was a, a smooth move from VP to open up, but Puck Champ prepared. Such quick reaction from the Tusk, really. Just, in fact, if he's not there at that exact moment, it's a game of He's gone. Save it up bottom. bottom tower. Nice. Pinch the tree here with a spit. Nightfall is here. You can't poke too hard at the, the jug. Dyer's middle tower. Ooh. He's under attack. King Slayer. He's going to go down. The Omni stack. Ooh, last two bounces is not working in Nightfall's favor as Melez. He's going to be fine. Welcome. Great Spears. Great plays from Melez, too. Just the red mist spreads. And the game is middle he's tower. Sticky. Now he's got Lasso, too. He's getting left for save. He's got it. Yep. Drag him back into the Firefly. Another kill for him, That's so what you get. despite the tough start, I mean, Melez getting two kills already down here, seven and a half minutes in. Looking very nice. He's quite farmed too, he's almost level seven. That's pretty huge, 800 gold on top of the bottle and Dyer's the and the bottom wind tower is Not under shabby. attack. And there is a change that did happen, you know, Batrider overall was nerfed, but lasso damage was actually increased, so when you do get those early lassos, it is quite strong if you're sticky. <laughs> Okay. Look at the damage. Yeah, with the maledict. Uh, there's going to be very little they can save, and they'll buy him some oh. time in the snowball. Is it actually is that enough to save him against the ticks of damage? Okay. It is another nice oh, move good. from Astral. Astral keeping his mid covered multiple nice. times now on the tusk. And the, that one's not a snowball just instantly. He snowballs to the left under the creep wave, dude. Pulls him out of any type of aggression. Looking very nice. I mean, all things said and done, eight minutes in, you, you're keeping the net worth level with VP. Ellie, you're, you're Radiant, feeling pretty good about yourselves here, Pop Champ, with this attack. opening. Especially with like a Batrider pick, right? The yeah. bat who is getting little to nothing ends up making it work throughout this landing phase. He's going to have boosted Champ on a pretty good time. Only level seven. It's like he wasn't even in that satellite. Bubble from the boy. That's just huge stuff for them. <laughs> Absolutely showing what Meles can do on a hero that and many, pr pretty much the entirety of the, the offlane, as you'll see here in this, in, in pretty much all the regions, you know, they're, they're not going to want to pick back. And especially no, if they knew it, it was, if, they, if they, any of the offlaners knew they had to play it into the matchup that Melez has had to. But uh, he's he's not fed, he, he's got farm, and he's having a game. He's trying to actually make a move on the same. Nightfall is kind of around in the much area. Much like Cornwood so before Axe is Axe. Enough a little more than he can shoot, but he's actually still a firefly, so he's he under attack. Back, he's sliding to the trees, and he'll be okay. Nicely done. Very nice. Dyer's I mean, it says he's no longer saw this hero that they can just step attack. up and kill. Especially with Desperate heading over. Desperate's coming in with a haste room. Top lane, DM and Kingstone will manage to get the jump onto Zakalis. Much like Cornwood before Axe is Axe. Lane, GPK. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He's not enough catch to, to control him. This please DM is going to be a big problem for them, though. Melez is going to have to be that solution for the Timbersaw in particular in this game, because other than that, he's got an excellent matchup in this game. DM, the early pick Timbersaw versus Wraith King, Mars, and Tusk. Dyer's middle tower is not what timber. it used to be. That is for certain. Now, I guess the one thing that could be a little irritating for him as we've seen is that Phantom's Embrace, you know, if we're able to get it in when the Chakram's out. He's going to have to have team members about. This is going to be very limited in how he can fight back. They're going to hit him here. They should be able to bring him down. Also a tag team, level three tag team. With, with tag team with the and the embrace. Everyone. Yeah, if they can get the silence on him, he's probably going to die. As they've got the snowball. Silence out straight away. And no, no struggle at this point of the game. If they have that sort of yeah, as you said, just the damage buff up from the tag team and the control from the, the silence of the Phantom's Embrace. When he's alone, he, he will like be a free that. kill at, at this early point of the map. So, uh, no, so, again, smooth moves from Puck Champ. He'll also be able to get back over towards mid and we'll look to push back this, this pressure from VP. Ooh. If Melis gets a good flame break knockback into a lasso instantly, that's just a dead GPK right there with Desperate following up with the spear. He tries for it, doesn't quite connect, but they will stop Spare it. Me the tears. 
Radiance Bottom Tower is crit. under attack. Very good farm on the Wraith King. 2,900 into the Radiance. He's going straight for the Radiance Rush this game. Dyer's no armlet. And uh, it's, it, it's going to pay off. The, the Relic very likely to be done before VP can make an active move against him. Much like Cordwood before I, I, I think I'm okay with him just going Radiance because he has this full free lane. He's, he's, under go he's getting away with it. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Nightfall also. He's got to go full green. He's going for Battle Fury. Both going to be able to match themselves in that farm potential as the game goes for us. Yeah. Bottom. Did get the Firefly off again. Is he able to move over the trees and Evan far enough Orton. away? Oh, the Slash bounces the wrong way. Water. Oh, but Lessie just tanks. Casually <laughs> tanks two ultimates. And walks off. Oh, that's that's gonna feel bad for Nightfall and save. And they, they just can't kill the bat down here, even with the finger and the Omni Slash. Melez gets away. I actually can't do that. <laughs> middle tower. We'll, we'll give it to the under Arcane Ring armor. You know, that two armor giving him a little. <laughs> it may, it may, did make a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Melez, it's, you know, he'll tell you that was skill. Yeah, that's the power attack. of the Master Tier Bat. He can make what? the Omni Slashes go back towards the creeps. I mean, he's got a big grin on his face, I'm sure, after being able to walk away like that. Maybe a slight mistake there if Nightfall maybe spins instead of using the Omni. Perhaps they have enough. Uh, the they're going to try and get a fight going here. At this stage, they do have more. Oh, do they? The stun is going to last long enough. He's, he's still alive. He wants down. They couldn't quite kill him off this time round. As DM is fine, Backup comes in as they'll lose Desperate. We'll manage to find King Slayer and return TM. They're still trying to focus him. He's actually going to miss the timber chain. The Firefly does come to an end. Bella's trying to stack up the napalm. Get the flame break out on the two of them. Remnant grab on to Astro, but Astro crit and Melis, they're still good to, to continue to push back VP. They won't be able to find anything more than the Wish Doctor to those. I, I thought they'd have it, but they didn't quite. Yeah, that, that time round, DM does live. And then, of course, that makes it a whole lot messier for Puck Champ. I can't believe VP scurries away with <laughs> I'm I'm so surprised they only lose King Slayer there. I really thought at least Lion or somebody else would go down, but Save is so patient. I've watched him a lot of times now on this Lion. He just like keeps waiting for multi-hero stuns. Rather than just like throwing his stun and just whiffing it or maybe only getting one, he waits for the multi-hero ones and it actually ends up saving himself and a couple of his teammates perhaps from the big hit that Punk Champions. And now VP, they're not as cool down the Lion. They're gonna look to pick back immediately. Oh, they are. Pugjam aren't quite ready for this sort of quick movement off the back of the last fight as they catch Desperate by surprise. It's a D ward too. So the kill into a D ward into potentially pressuring the tower too. Nice hit from VP. And this is where it gets a bit scary for Pugjam. You know, you've, you've had this nice opening. You made some first good solid moves. But now VP, they've got their items online, these early sort of skirmishing items, and, and they're ready to bring the action to you. Uh, and you've got to be ready for it. You can't afford to make mistakes. Any mistakes now, VP's going to fully capitalize on them to get further and further ahead. Yeah, if they, if they commit on the DM, they have to fully commit. This hood is going to make things a lot more difficult since he had that, that last fight, and he's going to get enabled up to a pretty fast Lotus Orb. And now they can just back up. They farm with their jug, and it, it kind of feels like the pressure starts to feel like it's on to Puck Champ to start to do something. They don't have the blink on Desperate either. He actually died twice now when he's been very close to it. So that's going to slow down a lot of the potential aggression for Puck Champ to be able to slow down this farm. He's just going to sit back and be happy. With it. I restore Dyer's middle tower. Well, well, that's the great death this time around. The Maledic sound, death fought as well. The stick charges, and... As they try and turn towards King Slayer, Melez, he'll still take out the Maledict. I think Melez was telling Astral to... He was like, wait, wait, let me come to the snowball. I, if he... Kick me out yeah, of damage, I was, he did stand next to him and didn't get picked up. I think he would, he would have at least dodged one of the ticks, which okay. which may have been enough to keep him alive. And Spear was still on cooldown for Desperate. If he had Spear up, actually, they would have gotten that kill, but he used it to farm, I think. VP getting away with another kill and not losing anything for it. Nightfall right, staying at the top with the farm. Dyer's middle tower is not what it used to be. Dyer's structures are fortified. To Carlos, they've got the pressure coming in mid, Puck Champ. Four this tier one, starting to get a bit more aggressive with, with crit now. GPK still pressuring bottom and they have this ward as well. The bad if is Dyer's middle the tower was okay, worth a damn, we'll it would still be standing. And they will finish the mid tower. 
Yeah, Chris pretty strong with the radius. As long as they can keep him alive, the cars can buff, buff him up and, and get him in. They could use to aggressively fight with the reincarnation. Yeah, he's strong damage-wise, but he is unbelievably fragile. He has very little armor, and he's versus a timber saw as well as heavy magic damage from the side of BP. Oh, yeah. All right, a little bit slow on the, the, the response there, Nightfall. He just allows himself to get Ray Fire blasted. As there's no response room at all, they will lose Mars in return. Finger comes out. Crit will die the once. VP's having to back off. They've lost two of their members. As I, yeah, I mean he. He didn't have vision. Sure, I guess he just wasn't prepared at all. I fight not over quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna jump back in onto Crit and Crit. Uh, he actually is gonna get burst here by VP. As VP see a chance to get back in as, as Puck Champ hang around for a little too long. They might even lose more here, Puck Champ. As Dakalis is getting surrounded by GPKTM and save. It's gonna be another kill here for VP. Did you call us? Yeah, they've got him. Melis trying to fight back, but with a step back up. Void Spirits away. That was... All right, there's a little little thing that actually uh, Puck Temp did there. So the Wraith King stunned from high ground, this right? They smoked. He turned his Radiance off win. when he was walking in to get that stun connection. So it actually okay. caught the jug completely. Yeah, it did. Not yeah. Point. So that was actually a really nice little play that Puck Temp did. But then, as I was mentioning, Crit, he has to understand what his power is still. What his power level is as a straight king. He's still very fragile. He walks in way too deep. There's so much magic damage that is going to be thrown onto him. I think he just felt that he's going to be more careful in the future. Yeah, and just sticking around a little too long at the end of that fight, Puck Jam. Yeah. You know, they, they sort of get that, that big kill, get King Slayer on top of it. Like still up to hang around. Bottom lane. Melez, now on these flashes back up, he's dead. And over to the side, Save and DM, they've got another catch. They've found Astral. And Astral, he'll try to escape over the snowball. DM's going to be sure to chase this, though. You see, he's not letting Astral get away. VP getting out on top now with these kills. As he's, even when Puck Champ makes a move, that they're, they're losing more for, for him return. VP starting to get that lead up. War has come to Radiant is bottom tower. completely ulti reliant. It feels like with the team fight. Like they have to have the Mars ulti up. They might even have Dyer's to have like the last one and everything up. I don't think like they're reliant on Radiant's almost any. Maybe even Astral is staff, under so attack. They don't really have to worry about any of these fights going longer. Once these fights start taking too long, I feel like Puck Champ is at a huge disadvantage with what they're playing up against. With this Void Spirit, he's having an arsenal spell. Same thing with DM, who's unkillable. We see he actually went for Pipe rather than going for finishing that Lotus Orb greedily. He's understanding that it's all magic damage really coming out. Even the Wraith King, this Radiance, if they just tank through the initial go, he's gonna win the fight. Oh, I'm gonna try for Rush. Oh, okay. A little bit of time left on the DD is about to expire. I mean, bit of a bold one. There, VP's not heading over quite yet, so we'll, we'll see if VP checks it out. They don't have any vision themselves, VP, around this area. So maybe Puck there. Jump, yeah. There. I mean, VP's going to start to put something's up, and they're going to scan it. So VP, no. Uh -oh. Can they get there in time? Puck oh Jump, they're, they're speeding it up. They've got to finish him off quickly. Uh -oh. They're not even going to commit for it. They're, they're too scared of VP being able to get in and fight him in the pit. They're actually dead back for now, but Roshan is so low. Nightfall, uh, Nightfall popped the healing one. I think he was going to use it to scout. <laughs> he like, sent it into the pit for a second, but... Well, backed up, and it's got the long cooldown. Okay, VP go back yeah, VP just Let's stepped right back. The they radiant. didn't even try and make a move aggressively into the pit. As yeah, uh, Puck Champ are probably a bit surprised themselves that they were allowed to walk back in and take it. As they get the Aegis, they just on desperate, ready for the next fight. That looked like a conscious decision, though, right? VP was like, sure, they, they bailed on it. I yeah. think they were like, we don't care about Rush. Do we care about Rush? No, we don't care about Rush, because they all sure. immediately back away. Is. So that's a bit of conscious decision from VP to be able to think that hey, we don't even care about playing versus it, as they're all still playing around each other looking for a fight. So, Mars, yeah. Having the Aegis, I think Champ is realizing how important he is. Yeah, I like it. I mean, you know, Crit, is it, even if you give the Wraith King sort of like a, th a third life in these fights, you know, it's, it, it, sure, he's got three lives, everyone else has got one, you know what I mean? And then if, if Crit gets yeah. isolated, everyone else is dead. 
uh, then the, this Wraith King's not going to be too much of a, a challenge for VP to take down. But uh, if they can split these resources, have Desperate with that second life, team fight definitely becomes a bit Marty's stronger at this, this stage. Axe. Dyer's 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 is under attack. Kind of watching him. And speaking of DM, you know, he got the pipe, very tanky. He got the plate mail. He didn't take it. He got the item. He got the nether shawl. Favorite item in Dota 2. Very good, balanced item. So they can take another one. Stun won't quite catch him. Save. Quite having the reach to, to get crit on the way out. Just a recipe away from the BKB crit. Full solar crest on the tusk, so okay, Wraith King is gonna be pretty enabled. That's gonna make him quite a bit tankier. Still very susceptible to all this magic damage that BP does have, and it's it's a lot of magic and control. So very cool. Oh, yeah, DM's feeling confident just holding on to the tower, uh, showing himself. Mel Melez already scanned himself for the trees. He's gonna be able to get the jump on stage. Marina's down for death, but they're able to pin. Witch Doctor over the walls the wall. King's there goes down. Melez still alive, actually. He's up to the side. They will chase him down with the blade fury. Take him out. That's the it's the back gone. But they've lost both supports for the VP. We'll move over towards Crit. Bring down the Wraith King once. He's ready for round two. Can they kill him off a second time? Desperate also coming in. Has the stun fall up onto the jug. They've found Nightfall focusing him over towards the side. Blade Fury's back up. It doesn't matter. They've got the physical damage to take him down. Three dead on VP. Desperate very, very low. Is he able to blink out? He's away to the high ground, but GPK will hunt him down. Just him with the Astral Step. It's a clean up by VP. DM getting the triple kill. As Pug Champ, even with the Aegis, the reincarnation, it's it just, they survive, they get some kills, they get Nightfall, fantastic stuff. But DM, they, they, there's just no chance. They, they can't kill this, this timber. Me no, look at, look at DM's spell cast in the fights. Five whirling gusts, five timber chains, four to eight shock drums of just I'll turns and rollbacks, the pipe, everything. They get the jump on the line, but the, the, the rego of VP is just too fast. They get the control, the bat dies so quickly, and then they're just isolated. These, these tanky cores on the side of Punch versus attack. the even tankier cores of VP. And I think they're pretty fortunate to even get the jug kill, I'll be honest with you. Sure, it was so close. close, yeah. The fight lasted long enough that he had another Blade Fury uh, after this initial one you see here. And just, yeah, trying to do their best to, to take down heroes, ignore DM. But uh, as you say, DM just able to land so many connections with this fight, especially happening around the tree line. And there's just too, too much to deal with. As these five on fives are going to be so hard if they're not doing something about DM at the start of it all. But the, the, that's the problem when DM's on his timber. They, they can't. I mean, what do they do? How do they stop this from happening again? How on earth do they deal with DM in these team fights? Ban the timber next game. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's so hard. Impressive on Timber, yeah. all of his games. That's why they love. That's why they're picking it like this, right? First two in so many of their drafts. Yeah. Like they just put it out there. It's a Timber they lion. Yeah. Yeah. Radiant's middle tower is it. under attack. Game is nine, one, and six. He's 15 of the 17 kills. His damage potential. His damage this game is insane, and his survivability too. He's kind of doing everything for the team. Radiant's middle tower the is under attack. This is the Bat Rider. Dyer's top well. tower so is under attack. In the pipe. It's, just, it's perfect right now for DM. Yeah, it definitely feels the sort of mark that we saw you know, when we saw that second move around the outpost to try and kill DM where they got so close but didn't quite. It's, it, 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 you have that feeling then from that point on. It's like, well, they're, they're never going to be able to do it again. They're, they're, they're not even going to get close to bring down this Timber. It, it really just has fallen into the realm where Timber is king in this game. He is. He is the true king, Dyer's and he has the shard. Tower you know, DM, we, we asked that him about the shard the other day, and he put a little instead. cheeky smile on, saying, I'll no, it's that. not that broken. This is, this shard is so damn strong. The fact that it affected buildings mm -hmm. now, slightly like nerfed Lord versus heroes, and the way that slow got reduced, but Dyer's this top item tower is, is, is so under much attack. damage. It's a 630 damage nuke if you sit inside the entire duration of it. So pretty crazy for how little it can cost. And Pug Champ? And he's got spell him. I'm gonna try and have a have a punch at them here from the smoke. They have got the BKB. Yep, two of them, right? I don't think the third one's online just yet for Melis, but they do have two BKBs on their core. So it will be a lot easier versus Void Spirit and Timber and some of this control. Sure. At least get those spells up, but will they have the damage is the question. Oh, that's the thing. Like, they, they could probably kill everybody else, but if they don't kill DM, DM's gonna bring down a, a, quite a few of them. 
in the fight. So, you know, as we saw last time, maybe even the whole team. So, yeah. And I think Melis has to go for a higher priority target somehow. Like, he has to get, like, the Void Spirit or something in his lasso. Because grabbing the Lion, it didn't feel effective. Sure. Melis. Yeah, they're going to be able to start the fly onto him. Melis is gone. And TM's already to the chain and up to the high ground. He's found the back line. Save able to line up the stud. Hold of the two of them. As they jump, he's burst down. He's controlling Desperate completely. We'll come in for the BKB, but Chris having to use the rest of the BKB to TP out of there. Same for Desperate. And we'll get... They get I mean, they get a couple of supports. And they will manage to keep their cause alive with these BKB TPs out. But it's these sort of trades, these fights, that they're not going to get Puck Champ ahead. And as no. these BKB durations you know, begin to dwindle, it's, 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 it's you know, where, where, do, where do they go from here? Sure, they're only 2k behind, but how do they find some sort of a move that, that's going to be able to shake up VP? It, 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 feels like, it feels like a monumental difference in that one. It does not feel like a 2k difference at the moment. And now they're from Destro. Melez is trying to box over to help out, but Destro is going to go down. And now, Melez, what does he do here? Yeah, he's got the rest of the team coming over. Okay, well, they set up onto GPK. Have they got enough lockdown with the punch up? They do. So, all things said and done, they'll certainly take that trade. That's a big kill. Yeah. Sure. I think that should be it. BKB pretty much done on the bat rider there, so he'll have some more freedom of getting in to pick which target he does go for with these last of Disability. Oh, absolutely. And as you say, yeah, with the, with the tri core BKB, they can head in, press it, ignore the supports get themselves completely on top of yeah probably as you mentioned gpk maybe nightfall second up if they can catch him before the blade fury and then then they can eliminate at least that core you know to start off the action if they can walk in with the bkbs that's what they need to do though they're gonna yeah. have to have a pretty big number advantage in the fights to be able to solve the problem of this timber stock. so now they do have that potential they can chain stun but that's they have to chain stun it they have to make sure that they do it properly yeah. they're gonna go for the lasso play on gpk they have to drop the arena they have to spear him to the wall they have to throw everything onto that initial team. And they have a gem now, so it's harder for them to get the jump as well, as it does feel like Puck Champ. They have to get a perfect jump for them to have a good team fight versus what VP does have right now. So this gem on the jug it was pretty much immortal, it feels like, in this game. It does have Nightfall having a... Uh, you're not necessarily the most action from him. You know, 2-2-7 two, two, has missed out most of the, the kills being brought, but his attack. farm been impeccable he's been, been yeah. doing exactly what he needs to do to get the win in the bag and they can never chain stun him the s and y yeah. plus the sliver now he's got enough status resist that he'll always be able so to get tanky yeah. he's so tanky i'm gonna try let's see something they can do they're eight keys in trouble though and that's crit down once again they put the arena but they're focusing king slam they'll kill the support but the obvious that comes out to crit that's crit gone Taken down both supports, but again, that's just not going to be near anywhere. They're good enough here against VP. As VP will happily lose the same and keeps there at the start of every fight. Because they know that their three cores will clean up easily without the support backup now at this stage. As uh, it, it just doesn't matter. This Lion and, and Witch Doctor, they're going to be laughing all the way to the grave every single team fight. They're happy to die. Save. I, 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 honestly, I feel like the two of them are the only ones that are getting pinned to the wall Dyer's now in these negotiations that are happening. They're just, they're such a nuisance that Puck Champ is putting that much focus on them, and Puck yeah, Champ is now like, absolutely free reign, and poor reign, he just, I don't even, he even get him to up, I think he's just Radiant not even barracks are under attack. Got it. And now this happens, a set of racks at least here for VP. Radiant's bottom yeah, barracks are very yeah, much yeah, so Someone else's favorite radiant bottom barracks are nice little tip there between Sam and <laughs> Sort of that in mutual, you know, yep, this is how our game is and we don't care. You know, we, we, we'll happily die for the team in each of these fights. Yeah, he's like, Kingslayer, you know, you have seven deaths, so you're doing a better yeah. job than I am. <laughs> exactly. dying right, so I'm going to tip you out. Good job, my man. I love it. They're definitely, yeah, they're definitely true. feeling so good about this game. Like, yeah. Yeah, Nightfall died it twice, but you know he's never dying again because the status resists and how tanky he is. Same thing for DM. Horrors are now having just a pretty fluid game on the side of VP. Oh, they so are. Looks like they're grouped up. They're ready for another battle. Let's see if they can get something other than Kingslayer or save. Oh. Crash. VP's got the high ground here right now, too. They're all smoked up. Well, this is sort of thinking time for VP. Do you th is this something they'll be thinking about right now? They'll be like, there's a high chance Puck Champ is making the smoke movement. 
Definitely. Look how grouped they all are. Like everyone's farming the same area. They're all ready for the battle yeah. coming to them. This is uh, oh, be a this is, one. <laughs> you, you don't want to go up these steps. You're going to reveal oh, too. No. That's the yeah. thing. It's like they're going to show. Save is going to be able to pick and choose who he goes for, or if he wants to back up and reset and let his cores do the first move. They've got so many options. And GPK, he can actually start the fight now for his team because he has A. Oh, on no, He's don't go up the stairs. This. Oh, God. Don't insane. go up there. Don't do it. Crit, don't do it. What are you doing? He's going up. By the remnant, as they went up, they went up the stairs, Mont. They went up the stairs. Yeah. They did. And, and I am. This time they tried though. They tried to catch Nightfall with all the disables. But the status was so and, yeah. and he's still like half HP. He can easily just finish up the fight. Radiant's little tough tower one. is under attack. Uh, honestly, you know, the, the opening, the first 10 minutes, Puck Champ, they gave it a good shot, and you know, this was a Radiant's game where they tried something a little unorthodox. They're bringing the bat. A good early start, but of course, uh, difficulties in terms of playing this game down the line. And I, as you said, I think they're going to be looking at this game. And you think you've got to what, really just seriously consider. You, you have to what, either make sure you have a draft that can deal with the timber, kill a timber, or just what ban, ban DM's timber against VP. I think you might just ban it. it, it VP is just so comfortable playing around it. And like, that move in the jungle was kind of everything, right? They didn't kill him. He's 15, 1, and 10. His itemization is 15, 1, and 10. And yeah, it's, oh, it's just goodness. been VP just playing perfectly around this massive timber for the whole game. Chan, they'll give it another shot. Last hurrah. Let's see what they can do. One more shot really here for Puck Chan. So maybe they can time the Roche steal. Let's get it low. And GPK's already starting to play with them, stopping them from being able to jump in. Take down Roche. They get the Aegis on Nightfall. And they instantly bring down Crypto Watts. They lose save. But again, they don't care because Desperate goes down. BP, they'll be able to now turn and focus towards Crypto. Crit trying to run. As VP will take this game one, and uh, looking looking like the VP you would expect to see. This is always going to be a challenge. Uh, these games for Pug Champion, being the team that's come up from the lower division, if you're playing against the top team in Eastern Europe, the matches.